All right, you guys, today we're going to take a look how to make these really good looking glypses on script fonts here in Illustrator. And for this tutorial, I'm going to go with the Elicit script variable, a regular font. Right click on it, create outlines, right click on group, and I'm just going to move it a little bit, something like that. Now, first, you're going to need to take a look where you want to change up the text to a really dynamic glyphs. For example, here we got this really nice letter V, and I can just expand it with some more curvatures. So for this, let's select the pen tool here and double click on it. Make sure to increase the fidelity all the way up and the within also all the way up to max. Click OK. Now before selecting the pencil, you're going to need to select the letter first. And let's select the pencil. And I'm going to start here. And I'm just going to go over right here and come back. Make it here thin and then it goes thick again. Don't worry about the imperfections. We're going to correct it a little bit later and I'm going to go back here. See that it automatically is going to make it more curvy and some of the parts are going to be even worse. So for this situation, let's select long click on the pen tool and select the delete anchor point tool and press and hold shift. And we're going to go, for example, on this path, click on it. So it's going to delete it and it's still going to make it curvy. See that? And let's select the direct selection tool. You can select one of these anchor points, you know, and just customize it however you like. Now it actually looks pretty good, nice and curvy. And as you can see, this edge is also sharp. I'm going to select the direct selection tool, select this edge and just make it curvy like the rest. Now let's say you want to remake some of the parts of the letters. For example, the letter N, I don't like this part. I can go to the knife tool and just select this area, cut it, and you can cut it off, and you can select the pen tool, and now you can go and select the pencil, and just redraw it. So let's go from here, I'm gonna go something like that, and back in, wow. <laughs> <laughs> now this was a little bit crazy I'm gonna need to correct these and yeah it mainly goes something like that and this is one way how you can work with the pencil here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.